Welcome to the flip side. So I know what you're gonna say, okay? I know I haven't shot a video in six days, or I think it's six days at this point. I am sorry. I am extremely sorry, okay? I have been, but I've been super busy in my defense with homework for one, and if you can believe that, and there's so much going on on our other channel right now. I've just been so busy re-editing old videos because the stupid copyrighted music uh, and editing the video for this week. We had to write it and film it and edit. Hey, sit down. Sit. Hey. Crazy dog. Uh, and we had to do all the stuff for a new video this week because... You know, we wanted to get a new video out, even though we have all of our old ones that are still coming out again. So it's just been kind of chaotic, and we've gotten 150 subscribers in the past, like, five days, which is an extreme blessing. Thank you all so much for subscribing. We really appreciate it, and we hope we can uh, live up to the standards of having 450 subscribers. I mean, that's a big deal for us. It took us three and a half months to get our first 150 subscribers, and we got it in a weekend. So that's really exciting for us, and we... We're trying really hard to keep putting out quality content. Uh, hopefully we could do that. There's a new video out today. Uh, did I already say that? Uh, it's board games in real life. Uh, we figured Facebook in real life was our most popular video. So we wanted to capitalize on the in the real life thing. Uh, so, we, so we did the thing. But we didn't want to be like... We didn't want to... Because we get related to Smosh a lot. And we didn't want to do video games or movies, because they all, they did that. So we chose something specifically that they hadn't done, which is board games. And so we try to put a unique spin on uh, that idea. So I hope you guys like it. Go and check it out after this video. Now, there is a... Sin hey! Sit down! Good. Sneeze and then... Fantastic. Good girl. Okay. So there's a scenario that I really need to talk about. It's really, it's something that I struggle with a lot, and I don't really know how to, how to fix, I don't know the answer. So I need you guys to help me. When you're pouring a bowl of cereal, okay, cereal is like a gift from heaven. I love cereal. It's, it's unhealthy how much I eat cereal. Uh, it is my preferred food of choice for any meal of the day and any snack. I just, I love cereal. Almost all kinds of cereal. So when you're pouring it and you're pouring the cereal, so you're super excited, and then comes the milk. Okay, here's the part. You pour the milk and what happens when, hey, whoa, 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 I'm not going anywhere. Sit down. Sit down. Right there. That's perfect. Lay down. Why are you running from me? Hey! What are you doing? Sit down, Kira. Lay down. You brat. Jeez, such a diva. Stay. Right there. Don't move. Okay. So you're pouring the milk. And halfway through pouring the milk, you realize that there's just barely going to be enough for you. But there's going to be a little tiny bit left over. Now... Do you pour that leftover into your cereal and just make yours extra large? Or do you save that little bit for someone else, even though it's only going to fill up like half a cereal bowl? Do you leave that for the next person? Because that's that's almost just frustrating. Um, I mean, that's really frustrating, is when you're pouring a bowl of cereal and there's just a tiny bit of milk left. But is that more frustrating than having no milk? Because that's, that's the worst feeling on earth, is when you pour your bowl of cereal, and you're getting ready to enjoy the heck out of this thing, and then you go to the fridge, and there's no milk. At all. No milk. Is there any worse feeling in the world than pour, pouring a bowl of cereal and having no milk at all? Or is it worse that you just have a teeny little bit of milk, just a little baby amount of milk? And so you can't fully enjoy it. So it's like a tease. It's like, oh, this could be so good, but there's just so little left. What's worse? So do you pour the rest of the cereal into your own, or the rest of the milk into your own bowl? Or do you leave a bit? I don't know. 
Whatever. I pour all of it. If there's just a little bit of milk left, I finish it. Because I... Is it because I'm selfish? <laughs> it might be. I don't know. But I love cereal, and that milk might be going to me later. So, personally, I think it's... It's worse to just have a teeny bit of milk. Because there's nothing worse... Okay, well, there's a lot of things like like torture and and uh, Brussels sprouts that are worse than dry cereal. Dry cereal's okay, but it's not nearly as good as as cereal with milk. That is just like, ah, you know? So, I hate the the little milk because what that does, it, is in, it encourages you to eat the cereal even though there's no milk. Okay, if there's no milk at all, you just move on. As painful as it might be in your heart at the time, and your stomach, you have to move on because you're not just going to eat the dry cereal. You got to either toss it, go to the milk and get, or go to the store and get more milk, or try to put the cere dry cereal back in the cereal bag, but that's just a hassle. So what the little amount of milk does is it encourages you to actually eat that dry cereal because you tell yourself in your mind, there's a little bit of milk in here, so it'll be fine. But it's not. It's basically dry cereal with just a little tiny, tiny hint of milk. That's not cool. So it forces the person to accept the dry cereal, basically. And that's just sad. It really is. I mean, so if you guys could leave in the comments what you do, what you think the right thing to do is. Do you take the rest of the milk or do you leave a little bit to troll someone? Or I guess you could look at it from a different angle and say you're leaving it for someone to enjoy. But you know, if I, if I say it in a negative way, then it makes the choice a lot easier. I'm gonna go. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons if you haven't already. And I will see you guys on the flip side.